everybody, my name is Tektos and welcome to episode 1 of our Stellaris playthrough. Today we're going to start the story of the Shadow Council on Viltaria Prime. In the eons since the first primitive Chagarian communities took shape in the dry canyons and mesas of Viltaria Prime, our civilization has spread and prospered. But Shadow Council society wasn't always united towards a common goal. In centuries past, mounting tensions between the competing nations came to an apocalyptic head in a global terminocular war that claimed the lives of billions and forever marred the surface of Viltaria Prime. In the decades to follow, surviving Chagarians faced radiological contamination, mutations, famine and violent tribalism. It was in this grim crucible that the Shadow Council was truly forged, and with a new world order. Now, after the discovery of Hyperlane Network, or the Hyperlane Network, the finest minds of the Shadow Council have finished development of the first hyperdrives in the stars themselves, under the Narco Rasp. And uh, that is expressed in this lovely flag we have designed. <laughs> so let's begin that story on this sad rock that is called Voluntaria Prime, that we call our home. And let's take first in what we already know about the universe. So we are somewhere in a milky shadowy hunk mess of stars. We don't really know anything about our surroundings. Um, we just know there's a lot of them around us. Um, we have a couple spots to start mining stations already. And we didn't yet see any planets that we might send colony ships to. So the first order is to send out Rosh Nakiter, um, who is a very adaptable leader who's going to gain us a lot of experience and start scouting the surroundings. Now, do we see any strategic locations like natural choke points up here? We might want to go in that direction or... Yeah, we want to go in that direction. So let's go first with exploring. That is the first order of business we have. The second one is we're going to send our construction ship to build a mining station here on this little moon, I guess. <clears> There's <throat> a little barren world, apparently also affected by our little thermonuclear war. And we'll start building a mining station on here. Now, for those of you screaming at the monitor already, I know there's more efficient ways. I know we can strip down our corvettes and we could get like a super efficient start. Like I explained in the prologue, we're not about that. We're gonna try and play as the Shadow Council would. So, let's take a quick... Actually, let's look in the government first, who's leading us. It's Otiana Tukor, a female, um, 31 years of age, and she's a space miner and investor. Oh, that is very good. Okay, so she's gonna probably be stable in her position. No need to do anything about that. And on our planet... Ooh, we have a righteous governor. Well, your life is going to be very hard, and uh, as soon as we can afford, we're going to replace you. But we're going to replace you already. I'm going to remove him, and I'm going to remove the enforcer on the planet. I'm going to see why in just a second. Oh, actually, you're going to see it right away. Um, now we have 30% crime, and being the Shadow Council, we certainly want crime to be a factor in our politics. So we are gonna make a deal with the crime lords on this planet and we'll negotiate that. And we're probably gonna do that on every colony we have. It's gonna give us additional crime and criminal jobs, but it's just who we are. So now we're gonna re-employ the enforcer and I'm gonna also assign the governor. Does he have any effect? Other than being a righteous pain in the you-know-where. Hmm. We're gonna reassign him anyway. Okay. Uh, that is the first government decisions. Now let's go into science and let's see what we have available there. Now, we do have uh, fusion reactors which kind of benefit our fleet, but we don't really need the fleet early on, so I'm gonna skip over that. Uh, we could get more energy from the technicians. Though that is that pales in comparison to speed up, speeding up science production in general. So we're going to go with that. Now in our civics department, don't need defense armies. 
don't currently need too much. I mean, we have a good amount of food production. We don't care about the well-being of our citizens that much anyway, as long as our elite is fed. So we're going to boost research here as well. And we're going to boost research here most likely as well. Yeah, we can't afford those yet. 10%. We don't have many mining stations. None of that makes much sense. All right. So that were some pretty easy decisions, and we're just going to have a 20% boost of science production overall, which is, I guess, I guess it's good. Now, um, still not unpausing. We have that military fleet, and I know there's a way you can strip them down and get those alloys, but like I said, we're not going to min-max in that fashion. What we need, though, is an additional science vessel. Because we don't know much about our surroundings, we certainly want to know more. So that's that's what we need and I'm gonna speed it up a little on the capital there's not much we can do or actually nothing we can do because we don't really have any uh, minerals to build any minerals to spare anyway so oh well uh, let's see if we have anything in our edicts that we might want to uh, not edicts where are we policies that we might want to change um, trade policies currently wealth creation is the only one we have available all right uh, population control doesn't matter. Slavery is certainly allowed. Economy, I guess we want more alloys early on. Yeah, makes sense. Um, settlement allowed. All the rest doesn't really matter for us. Uh, let's take a quick look at the species and the rights. Okay, no change possible here. Living standards. <coughs> hmm. Less upkeep for the workers. Social welfare. Well, certainly not. Could go with academic privilege. Though I'm kind of leaning toward... Oh, I get... Why do why we need for utopian abundance? Okay, uh, we, we want to kind of give the elites a bump. Because they really deserve it. They worked so hard for the Shadow Council, but there wasn't really a way to do that yet. Okay, so let's uh, let's see where we can get some credits to fund ourselves. A new science officer. Oh, hoo, hoo. that is an interesting situation. There's a star we cannot reach yet. Um, so we need to explore for more planets. Let's go over here. Now, usually you would survey, but I don't really need this system surveyed. Though it is a very interesting one. We have a neutron star and apparently a nebula around it. So that could be extremely productive for us. But there's no planet on it and we want to find a new colony soon. Okay, so now we have uh, 200 credits is what we need. Um, nothing in this equation not yet. We're just going to sell a little bit of food. Or consumer goods? No. Food, I think is easiest to regain. I would like to sell 50. Apparently that's not in the cards, so maybe we'll just sell 50 consumer goods. Because we need, I think, 100 or so for a colony ship. And let's buy ourselves a new scientist. We have a biologist available, a materialist, and a propulsion specialist. Interesting. Ooh. Physics researcher is really good. Uh, this guy just lives longer. And here we have a Voidcraft expert. So social studies, we don't have an expert. So we could buy this biologist. He's quite young too. And switch him out. I think that's what we'll do. We'll get you. Um... Then we will pick. Where's my. There. Uh, this one here to. Yes. We'll go there. And then we'll put the newly hired genome specialist to do social studies. Okay, so now you can actually go the other side and explore this system. We have to find a planet that we can colonize soon. Actually, take a quick look. Yeah, we need 200 food and 200... 
Oh, 200. I thought it's 100. Construction complete. Ouch. Okay, so there is a planet here. Um, an arid world that is fine for us. 17 population could go on it. And here we have like a choke point situation. We might want to explore that system. Okay, so I guess we'll start surveying here. And you can just build another mining station. An ocean world. Okay, we're going to survey you as well. It does look interesting. And after that, we'll survey here. Right, because we need to save up for a colony ship anyway. We might want to buy some consumer goods, but... Discovery of alien life. The SF Narplar has made a startling find on Evgimar 2. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Volataria Prime. Oh, we gained some societal research from that. And what did we find? Desert... Ore veins... Oh, looks good for food production. Simple forms of life. In the Shadow Council is a buzz with the news of alien organisms discovered some time ago. These little evolutionary marvels kindle the Trigarian people, their new hope of first contact. Yes, it gets a little old to so just exploit your own people. So we need a, a new a new target, and where better to find it than in this vast galaxy in space? First contact protocols. That's a kind of difficult decision, so we're basically deciding how we want to treat it with new, uh, new races that we meet. Um, now, being aggressive is very costly. I don't want to do that unless there's a clear gain at the end. Cautious, I don't think is... I would pick that with most empires, but I think we will greet them with open arms. Because we want them to be trusting and we want diplomatic relations while they benefit us. And we can then spy on them and find their weakness and then backstab. That is, that is much more productive than being cautious and picking your friends well and whatnot. We'll just welcome everybody. I mean, everybody has a potential way to be useful. They just don't know it yet. Habitable World Survey. Uh, we know without a doubt that the thriving biosphere is not something unique to Velutaria Prime. Well, it's not something at all present at Velutaria Prime, but okay, I'll forgive this generic text. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of life throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey on habitable, life-bearing worlds. That is a commendable initiative. Mm, yeah, we currently don't really have any matters to focus updated. on. So. You go ahead and do Anomaly that. Found. Oops. Uh, we're gonna leave the anomalies for now, um, especially the challenging ones, because we don't really have time to do that. We need to get the grasp on our surroundings fast. And that is much more important. I'm gonna move the construction ship already in the direction that we most likely want to expand to. Because it has nothing to do currently. Uh, actually, I'm thinking of getting a third science vessel. Like, there's not much we can do currently. So let's get one more. Could certainly afford another scientist. Might get an interesting one that could replace one of our researchers, actually. Because they are not the greatest. Uh, where's technology? Here's technology. They're not the greatest. I mean, she is okay. Is it a he or she? No, this is a he, right? No, female. So this is a... Yeah. Recognize that. So two guys and one girl. Okay. <laughs> um, Voidcraft expert. Meh. Could do better. This here is an absolute genius. Plus 10 research speed overall. It's just very, very good. Anomaly found. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna leave it be for now. Um, where are you? Oh, you're almost finished. Great. <clears throat> I'm not sure how this works. I think this here is gonna be more expensive to build an outpost on. So, oh, there's our science ship. Nice. So, we have to wait until this here is surveyed, and then we'll have an outpost there. Okay, well, let's see if we can get recruited. We'll have a plus five research speed, not great. Materialist or this propulsion expert. 
Hmm. They're all not really good. Um, plus 5% research speed is nice, but 45 years of age is not so nice. So we're going to go with the youngest one. He can gain the most experience. Okay, um, you are there and there and here. So he will... Yeah, he gains experience the fastest, so he's going to be our servier. Um, and you are exploring this direction. So you might actually go ahead and check out these systems here. Just to find our strategic position. Star system charted. Because that is very important for us. Okay, let's see how costly this is. Yeah, very costly. We have 131, yeah. So we need to wait for this here to be surveyed. <clears throat> we might in the meantime build an outpost here to be able to grab those resources there, I'm not quite sure. Um, but since we're nothing to do with our minerals, we're gonna go ahead and improve our main world. It doesn't have the greatest capacity. So our population growth is not so great. Base growth is increased because there is a balance between population and the planet capacity. So what we don't want to do currently is build any districts we don't need, because they will lower our base capacity. Um, if we could afford it, we want to clear blockers. But I'm not sure if we still need some potential leaders, so we're going to leave this out. Um, so we just get a building here. Um, we don't anticipate constructing a fleet. We're fine in terms of uh, admin cap and all that. So no problem in that front. So I'm leaning toward faster research. And we'll get the research labs. Mm -hmm. I like that. And uh, on the Latario Prime, we certainly also want the either luxury residences or holo theaters to have a place for the elites to amuse themselves. Okay, this here is going to take a minute to survey. Yeah. I should have done that earlier. Ooh! Star system charted. Very good. Okay, so this here has been charted already, but it's not a good system. And we have our first tradition available already. Great. So seeing as we are in desperate need of information and slowly growing, it's pretty clear which one we select. Oh, I was used to the old screen here, but with a new patch you get to pick up this screen on your own. Um, there's a couple ones that I have in, in mind for our society. Um, number one, of course, is Prosperity, or some people also call that Prosperity. Um, mercantile is a new one, I think. We're gonna... I didn't read through that yet, but I'm gonna do that between episodes. Um, expansion. Certainly need that. Diplomacy, not sure. But I think we'll, we'll go with expansion first. It does fit more with who we are. We want to grab as much as we can, as fast as we can. We're not that curious. We're more greedy. So let's adopt the expansion tradition. And that should come into effect when we build our first... Eh, maybe not. <laughs> but certainly when we build our second. Alright. So, a star base that is. Maybe I should put the object of the sentence in there. Um, let's see what we can discover here. I'm hoping this here is a dead end. But we're gonna make sure. And you are set to explore here, right? Yes. Is that an interesting one that we really want to explore? Not really, per se. We'll just look around if we can find any more systems that are actually habitable. Because soon we can afford that colony ship. Okay, nothing new here. Looks like we're cut off there, though I want to see if this here has any connections. Before we go on with the serving. Ah, there's another planet. Nice. Tundra... I think is okay for us. Um, where's that expansion planet? Tactical retreat. I can't see yet. Oops, alien vessels. The Shadow Council has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Valetaria Prime following the report from Mars has been can best be described as rapturous. 
Right. Okay, we have an encounter. First contact. First contact. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the alpha tier. Okay. Ooh, what the... Yeah. That is certainly an encounter. I'm gonna assign an envoy and make first contact. Well, they look pretty, pretty strong. Nice, there's another potentially habitable planet. Very cool. Um, so we could go on the discovery path here, which I want to do. And you check out up here what we can get there. Um, but that is a very strong fleet, 1.7k. I mean, our fleet has a hundred. That is not even comparable. Um, it's a little difficult to, like, would you, if you just see a fleet in space, would you be able to assess their fighting power like that? I don't think you would. But we can certainly maybe say that we met aliens that seem to be very well armed and much stronger than we are. So we're going to be friendly until we have a chance to stick a pointy object between their ribs. <laughs> so soon we'll have this one here uncovered and we can now afford a colony ship and being slow with colonization as we are we're gonna build this one already just to have it available so we can then go over here and build our first colony oh first contact event we discovered a new life form although it called a life form may be incorrect the entities appear to be fully automated mechanical drones built exclusively for some unknown industrial purpose. Interesting, we'll keep going. Though that doesn't look like a drone. It looks like the monster of Loch Ness, but what do I know? Hey, we regained a level, that must be you. And we're still... Okay, so now the last system is being surveyed, so now you can go down here, we're gonna explore that. <coughs> And if there's nothing interesting there, we'll continue our surveying up here and try to grab this system here and build a starbase there. If at all possible. We've made a first contact in Mulsir system. Where's the Mulsir? Okay, another, another alien race. So our only potential expansion path lies up here, maybe. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, oh, we need to make a uh, first contact. Yes. Here we go. More people to backstab and betray. I like it. And the sign ship seems to be now out of work. No, I don't like that. We'll explore this system here, but I'm thinking we need to expand toward here. So you'll soon go on survey duty. Star system charted. Yes, finally. So we can get this. It does seem a decent system. It has nine minerals on here and three engineering research. And this one here is already charted. So and you're going there. Very good. And our other science ship is now out of work. Um, you want to explore here. Just to get an idea what we're dealing with. I hope this empire here did not yet colonize there. We'll, we'll see. My friends, I'll make a little cut here and take in our starting situation and then we'll see each other next episode again. And so far it's a little bit of a slow start, I would say. But we might have some great potential in this system. And we certainly have a nebula that we can exploit and the first habitable planet so things are looking up i'm excited to see who our neighbors are hopefully no absolutely ruthless aggression because these guys um they can actually and we wouldn't have much to answer it anyway you have a wonderful day thank you for watching and we'll see each other next episode